Hey everyone! I welcome you all to Brainy IQ Dose. In today's video we will be talking about how to read people like a pro. Even while some people put their hearts on their sleeves, it can be challenging to instantaneously read someone accurately. Many people have perfectly mastered the technique of hiding their emotions. In times of sadness, they laugh and smile. Others could pretend to be angry when they're actually terrified. So, it might not be as simple as it seems to read someone instantaneously and understand their genuine sentiments. Psychologists have provided advice on how to interpret people you meet for the first time, though. People would always reveal one or two of these indicators, regardless of how hard they try to suppress their emotions. According to experts, body language accounts for 55% of what we say. Only 7% of our communication is verbal, while 38% is vocal tone. You must therefore consider a person's body language and voice tone in addition to their appearance and what they say. Here are 10 psychological pointers for reading someone quickly. Number 1. Making Eye Contact You must take the situation into account when making eye contact. The phrase the window to your soul was not coined for nothing. Your eyes convey a lot about how you really feel. A person may have some form of romantic interest in you if they stare at you intently and for a long time. However, don't hesitate to run away if you notice someone lifting anything dangerous or flaring their nostrils. They might be aggressive. They can be lying to you or just being creepy if their gaze is unwavering, too intense, and makes you uneasy. Number 2. Eyebrows. The brows have a lot of expression. When someone raises their eyebrow without being asked, they might be uneasy. Number 3. Smile. Many people are adept at masking their smiles, but very few can do the same with their eyes. This is the reason you can't actually grin when lying. The corners of the eyes naturally wrinkle as a sincere grin reaches them. You would be able to tell if someone wasn't being sincere if they weren't present. Number 4. Par language. This type of nonverbal communication can reveal a lot just by the words you use. It may come over in your speaking style, pitch, or tone. You should be aware that someone is not interested in the conversation if they respond to you in a monotone. Sarcasm is frequently used in par language, which is easy to spot. Number 5. Side View If someone really wanted to meet you, they would focus entirely on you. In contrast, if they are not fully immersed in that talk, they would cast a sidelong glance. They're probably trying to get away. Number 6. Constant Nodding Yes, nodding is typically a compliment. When done often, though, it might be an indication of anxiety. They're trying to win you over or get through what you're saying quickly so they can go. Number 7. Posturing. This is a major confidence giveaway. Throwing your shoulders back and casting a straight-ahead gaze are indicators. However, some people slouch by nature. They may appear apprehensive, but it may just be how they are by nature. Whether you slouch or not, keeping your head high conveys confidence. Looking down, on the other hand, sends a message of poor self-esteem. Number 8. Hand Rubbing A person's rubbing of hands indicates that they are feeling good about something. When they are ecstatic or hopeful about something they anticipate in the future, they act in this manner. Number 9. Arms and Legs Crossed when someone crosses their arms and legs during a conversation, it indicates that they are not interested in what you have to say. They appear defending. According to psychology, it indicates that someone is psychologically, emotionally, and physically insulated from what you're saying. Number 10. Shake hands. You come across as a pushover if you shake hands lightly. A firm handshake, however, gives the impression that you are a domineering individual. The ideal handshake is firm, but not overly forceful. A protracted handshake is awkward, while a quick one gives the impression that you're eager to leave. That's all for today. 
Don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.